When performing a biopsy, it's essential that both the radiologist and radiographer carefully review the case together in advance. There is also a golden rule, i.e. try to use the projection which gives the best view of the lesion. Likewise, the access route with the shortest distance from the skin, making it as comfortable as possible for the patient. This will facilitate targeting, optimize timing and therefore increase success rates. In this clinical case, we have a small cluster of amorphous calcifications in the upper outer quadrant of the left breast, where a horizontal approach would be suitable, with external access in a sitting position, left side approach. In the craniocaudal view, draw a straight line from the nipple to the chest wall. This is 4.38 centimeters, and a perpendicular one from the lesion to intersect with the first, which is 1.31 centimeters. These measurements will be replicated in the breast to ease positioning. It is also important the distance from the skin to the lesion. This should be less than 84 millimeters for access with the standard NCORE needle length. 113 millimeters. In this case, it is 41.7 millimeters. All materials needed for the exam must be prepared in advance. Christina Serena is set up for a horizontal approach and the Encore Inspire is ready for probe attachment. When positioning the patient, pay special attention to her comfort. The patient is positioned for a craniocaudal projection horizontal approach with external access procedure. The measurements taken previously on the craniocaudal projection image are replicated on the breast to facilitate positioning. Adequate breast compression is applied. The 3D biopsy exam starts. The X-ray console is set up to obtain 3D automatic optimization of parameters, AOP sequence. Exposures are performed, 3D projections displayed, followed by the preview TOMO images. Scroll through the TOMO images to select the plane showing the target. Zoom the image for better visualization and target selection. Note preview reconstruction is now replaced by the final reconstruction. Select the device needle to be used. Encore 113mm 10G horizontal approach, full notch. Check lesion coordinates and safety margins diagram. This gives information about lesion accessibility. Send the lesion coordinates. On the biopsy display, touch the target button to drive the biopsy head to the target coordinates. Using the Max Needle Preset button, drive the biopsy head backwards while maintaining the target coordinates to free space 
for anesthesia injection. Proceed with skin disinfection. Insert the needle guide support. Insert the laser to mark the precise skin incision location. Inject superficial anesthesia to be followed by deep anesthesia. Remove the laser. A new 3D biopsy sequence is taken to double-check lesion coordinates since they may have shifted after anesthesia. 3D projections followed by the preview reconstruction are displayed. Duplicate the target to reposition the target cursor according to the new lesion coordinates. Zoom image if necessary. Check lesion coordinates and accessibility. Send the new target coordinates. Insert metal and plastic Encore 10G needle guides. Touch target button and go to new target coordinates. Attach the horizontal approach adapter with the Encore device, ready in pre-fire position to the biopsy head slider. The slider is driven manually all the way. The biopsy display shows the needle notch versus target when in post-fire position. A 3D biopsy sequence is taken to check the needle tip is approaching the lesion as per the pre-fire position. Once the needle tip, target and lesion are aligned, the end core can be fired. Proceed with sampling. Full pattern, full notch and dense tissue is selected. Samples are retrieved with automatic rotation of the probe according to the pattern selected. Remove the sample basket and insert a new one if needed. Select Sample Mode in the X-ray console. An X-ray image is taken of the samples collected to check whether microcalcifications are included. The samples are representative. No further sampling required. Use of a tissue marker is recommended. The marker is deployed on the biopsy coordinates shifted back by 5 mm. Select the marker tab, replace basket rear cover with the marker adapter and introduce the marker applicator through the internal probe sheath. Make sure the yellow marker applicator aligns with the red probe marker. Push the applicator firmly all the way to release and put the tissue marker in place. Touch the rotate button on the screen. The notch will rotate 180 degrees to avoid pinching the tissue marker while closing the notch. Use the needle preset button to move the needle tip back 15 millimeters or more. This will enable marker display without being hidden by the tip of the needle when taking the next x-ray. Tissue marker deployment is verified by taking a 3D biopsy. Scroll through the planes to check the tissue marker placement versus the biopsy coordinates. To minimize migration, both the probe and tissue marker applicator are removed from the breast as a single unit.
The exam is complete and the breast decompressed. The patient receives information on how to proceed post-biopsy. Meanwhile, tight compression is applied to the biopsy area for hemostasis and an ice bag placed over the biopsy area. A wound closure strip is used as well. Routine CC and ML views are carried out to check the tissue marker placement. The entry point is covered with closure strips and a gauze. Additional gauzes are placed on the biopsy area for tighter compression and a compression bandage added which must remain in place 24 hours.